So, uh, what is the last stock power we've seen? Uh, the vendor consignment stock was 1000 quantity. And then what is the quantity we withdrawn? We withdrawn 200 quantity, right? So, this is the material document posted. See here the material document. See, this is the material document. See, consignment product. How much quantity we posted? 200 quantity. If you click on this FI document, now you can see the accounting posting postings because we withdrawn from the vendor consignment stock to our own stock. Click on FI documents. See accounting documents generated. Let me open this accounting documents. What are the entries posted? Let us see. See account payable account will be credited and inventory account will be debited. Right? Inventory account will be debited. It means the stock is increased in our stores and also account payable account will be credited. We need to pay this much amount to the vendor. Here you can see the transaction code is con, right? This is the setting was done by the FA people in uh, OBVIC settings. We have a, another concept called uh, MMFA integration. At that point of time, I will tell you each and everything like what are the different kind of transactions are available. We have a OBYC uh, transaction where we can see the different kind of transactions. What are the postings? You can see what type of GL accounts are posted. These kind of things we will discuss in MMFA integration topic. Okay. Here you can see the con. See consignment payables. When you double click on it, you can see a chart of accounts. And here you can see this is the account was assigned by the FAP. So the same account will hit here. Okay. We will discuss on uh, MMFA integration talk. So accounting documents were posted. And if I want to uh, take this screenshot. Uh, okay. And now uh, let us see uh, what are the stocks posted so, MMB to see the stock overview. Let us see what is the stock overview I and mean, how the stock is uh, posted to our own stock. Let us see. Can execute. Initially, what the stock it is showing? It is showing in Vendor vendor consignment stock is thousand. Now it is updated like vendor consignment stock is eight hundred because we withdrawn two hundred quantity, right? And it will be shown in our storage location, not under vendor consignment stock. You can execute. See, vendor consignment stock is eight hundred, and our storage location stock is two hundred, right? Because we withdrawn two hundred quantity. Input stock over here. Okay. Now we receive two hundred quantity. Now what we need to do? We will settle for the respect to two hundred quantity to the vendor, right? For this settlement. We are not doing the invoice receipt, okay? We are doing here the settlement. Invoice settlement. Okay. CM code.
accounting postings will be generated now I'm coming to this uh, invoice settlement the t code we use is what is the t code we use for invoice mir right here we use the t code mrko okay mrko is the t code to settle the consignment let me open another session and mrko it is the initial screen of consignment settlement okay here what we do is we will maintain the vendor you can go with company code or else you can go with vendor you can go with vendor material okay let me go with the vendor number this is the vendor number okay click on execute here you can see the processing status okay processing okay if you check this display it means it is only showing what are the settlements are available okay you can execute and also uh, we don't require pipeline right now see this is the window and this is the material document uh, we posted for uh, respect to transfer posting with the trunk and this is the material how much quantity we you with the trunk I mean, we with the trial, 200 quantity, right? So this is the quantity. And this is this much of amount we need to settle to the vendor. So no document is generated and no settlement is happened because we click on display mode, okay? And if you click on this settle, we don't require this pipeline, we are using only consignment. And uh, if you click on this settle, and if you click on execute, the respect to settlement was completed for the vendor. Let's see, let me show you that. Let me take this screenshot first. Here, if you want to settle, you need to check this. Okay. And you can enter uh, in selection parameters. Either you can go with vendor, you can go with plant, or you can go with document date, whatever it may be. You may say. And also, you need to select this concern and checkbox as well. Okay. Then, if I click on execute button, if I click on execute button, it will be set. See, click on execute. document is created it means see one document was generated the amount was set okay see this is the counting document it if you click on it, you can see accounting entries. See, consignment vendor, account payable. Why this is sound on this happened? We maintain tax code, right? We maintain some tax, uh, tax 2%. I think to, we maintain 2% of tax, right? That's the reason why it's taken sound 20 as input tax that needs to be paid to the vendor consignment vendor okay this is the postings let me take this screenshot as well and whenever we, you want uh, you can withdraw some quantity okay what are the quantity uh, it will be update okay 
See, this is the purchase order, and we settled some two hundred quantity. Okay. Any any questions here? Are you guys understand? Do you have any questions on? Yeah. Yes, bro. Bro, who will pay the money then? I mean, after we.